Hello and welcome to the 44th tutorial in the Bootstrap Free series. In this part we're going to be looking at pagination. We'll be using the source code from the 6th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have looked at the grid system that Bootstrap provides, plus the rows and columns, which is the main part of it. That's most likely going to be the reason you use Bootstrap friendly. But Bootstrap doesn't finish there. It has a lot more UI components to help create your website. We will now take a look at pagination, which provides a means for setting up the foundation for a multi-page website. Bootstrap, like everything else, makes it super easy to implement. So let's open up our HTML file and show you how, how you can implement it. That is going to take two minutes, maybe a minute tops. Okay, so if you scroll down, you can put it wherever you want. As an extra task, we want you to put it within the row and the column and see how it reacts to the resizing and it being within columns, but for now we're going to put it episode. So you just create a nav. This has no classes or anything. And inside here you create an unordered list. And this have a class of pagination. Again, with most of the stuff that we're interacting with class-wise, it's all built in. So we don't need to actually do anything. And here we put list items. Close off the tag, this has a class. I'm going to put disabled, you can put whatever you want. And I'm going to put ahref. And inside here I'm going to put the number two. You can put whatever you want, again it's relative to your website, so whatever content you want to display. I'm going to put a couple more, I'm going to turn the middle one to active. Change this to the number four, change this to the number 78. These are just random values. You say we could have just done 234, 210, whatever you want. So now if we zoom out and actually run this in our web browser, you'll see pagination working. So we have pagination. If we click this, because we have a href, it does actually do something, it just reloads the page. Hence, it goes to the top. Obviously, using just some sort of jQuery, you would remove that ahref if the link was disabled or not put it in there in the first place and the selected one is your choice whether or not you want something in there if you want it to do something. This combined with an API like jQuery, like we said, is a very powerful feature. At the next task, look into de detecting each click with jQuery and displaying an element based on the clicked list item or just do an alert. The next tutorial will cover pagination, disabled and active states. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. All the required source code will be in the description. To see hundreds of more videos like this one completely free, visit sonarlearning.co.uk. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.